achievement through the WSM project is we are able to organize the youth workers uh, within the uh, different uh, rank and file. Uh, with the support of the WSM, we are able to make the first youth con conference in Kathmandu and we are able to make the youth wings uh, in the central and as well as we are creating the youth wings in the province uh, and the affiliate level. That is the most important. Second things, we are also receiving the support for the uh, organizing migrant workers basically in the Qatar as well. Um, uh, uh, this year as well we are uh, receiving the support and we are able to uh, make the conference in Qatar. Uh, that is the another uh, important things. And uh, another major issue is um, uh, we are closely working with the social protection. Uh, in terms of the social protection, so we uh, did um, the po we are able to make the position paper on behalf of the trade unions and uh, it, that uh, can be used for as a main tools uh, during the bargaining with the employer and the government and uh, that is uh, that I think the milestone um, uh, milestone for the introduction of the social protection in Nepal. Uh, uh, G font uh, uh, is the young trade union in fact however, However, the first generation of the G Fund, they already crossed the 60 years. So that's why uh, we initiated uh, that the, if we are not able to bring the young uh, uh, workers uh, in the leadership, then we may not have the future. That's why to make the future, to make the, our generation to generation, trade union should be strengthened, trade union should be the uh, equally um, uh, uh, able to organize the uh, working class and they are equally able to influence the policy. So that's why we bring the uh, young workers, um, uh, we establish the young workers wings and then we uh, try to train them uh, as the future leaders. Uh, of this network, we uh, are able to share the, our views and we learn a lot from the um, other friends. Uh, among the network and outside of the network the, so that we can um, implement it into the our ground reality. That's why that, imp uh, that network is important and it will create a kind of a synergy effect uh, to the our moments. See, <laughs> we, we all are connected the, not only through the network, uh, we are connected through the different institutions, different uh, organizations. Uh, however, this network is a platform and it has a regular uh, uh, regular uh, coordination, regular communication and regular uh, exchange, sharing the accent and that's why it is the most important one. WSM uh, contribution is very helpful because uh, as of now we are continuing our struggle and um, especially in organizing young workers who are the most uh, vulnerable and part of those uh, marginalized. Um, not only organizing them, but uh, educating them, training them on their rights and, um, and on how they, are going to, how they are going to develop their skills and uh, capacity in terms of defending their, their rights and also how they are going to to live and to compete in the society where um, you can only survive with uh, those uh, if you have like skills. Like now many of the young workers are in the informal uh, sector, they are unorganized. Being part of the network in the Asian network in social protection uh, bring added value in our work in ASPAC because for a few years uh, it's been our demands in the IYCW ASPAC, the right to social protection. Even in our different uh, national movements in Asia, it is our demand to, to, have our, uh, to have the young workers, for them to have an access for the social protection. But most of the young workers, they, didn't, they don't understand what social protection means. They don't understand that social protection is a right. They, uh, they don't have awareness on this. So what we are doing is uh, we are giving them uh, awareness 
on what is uh, social protection, giving them education. And I think uh, the networks on the right to social protection really helps us in terms of giving the analysis and giving other um, a specific example from other uh, members of the networks, other partners, which can help us in order for us to also uh, work on the specific uh, alternatives or develop uh, strategies and means to provide or help uh, our members to have access on social protection and help them understand what is social. Right now, um, one of the issues that we are uh, responding is the raising number of uh, unemployment for the young workers. Uh, we have seen this because of one of the factor is about the, the digitalization of work and also the contractualization, which uh, we have seen that after three to five months, many of the young workers end their contract and they need to, they, they, they will become as an informal sector or informal worker. So this uh, resulted for the young workers to be or not to be organized or form in a union or in a association and it will be it's 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 really hard for us to to organize uh, young workers they really need to be trained they really need to be uh, to be informed and to be educate about their rights and uh, about uh, the capacity that uh, they need to, to improve for, for themselves in order for them to live, in order for them to have the dignity. Like uh, we are connected because we are from different sectors. Uh, we as, as um, IYCW are young workers and we have from health sector, we have from trade union, we have from uh, informal workers, migrant workers, and all of these issues are, uh, and all of these sectors are very important to, to come together to demand the social protection because they are the we are the sectors who, which are really the how do you call this the the victims of not having uh, the social protection. So uh, when we come together, it's really like a good opportunity for us to learn from each other, to share different uh, strategies on what we are doing from different from our different uh, organizations and from there uh, we learn and we get what we learn and we use it from our own organization. Not only that, uh, we always said that uh, coming together is our, our power to resist those, uh, those, uh, to resist uh, those issues that uh, really downgrading the dignity of, of the people's rights. So um, being in these networks really helps us to, to become connected, to work together. I think this is very important, working together and um, learning from each other and take action together in order for us to, to, to receive what we, what we to receive our demands, especially in order for us to have the social protection. Uh, thanks to WSM, the cooperation that we have, where it's together with uh, this initiative has been successful in creating practical alternatives in terms of food, in terms of uh, security, and in terms of protection. And the study that we made together with the uh, WSM partners in India on social protection for all had led the ILO to use our material to initiate such kind of uh, micro uh, level studies on social protection of the informal sector. Also, this study has been an instrument to make the ARETS uh, and also the partners of uh, WSM to be part of the labor charter of the national level. So that's been a, a very big contribution that we have done it and thanks to the scene. The network is very, very important because the fact that in isolation nothing can be achieved. Only together and like-minded uh, thematic uh,
process of collective nature only can give a success. And that's been the history and we have to make it work. So only in solidarity that we can achieve things. And being alone and micro-level initiatives uh, sporadically spread in different directions cannot lead to a policy change. Neither it can bring a tangible result to the people with whom we are concerned with. Uh, we are connected in, in a very organic way, firstly because of the synergy actions that we do collectively. Number two, the, within the synergy that we have, a, we connect paper that keeps us all to be together in expressing and sharing what we do from different parts of the country or from different parts of the region. So that is basically the thing. And also joining in many of the events that takes place in the common thematic uh, workshops and seminars and conferences that is held either regionally or internationally. And this is the best way that we keep alive our thinking and our actions to move forward. Yeah, that, that builds up the bridges between different directions. I think that is very important and that is uh, something which is very unique in my own experience where uh, the partners are made into come into one connection, uh, which I have not seen in, in, my, in my relationship with various uh, organizations or movements. So an organization, I mean, uh, uh, WSM taking that initiative is uh, uh, most appreciated and that's something that we need to continue, which will be the difficulties. There are difficulties to continue, but we can always be connected through our work. NDWM believes in networking because our strength lies in joining hands with other organizations like trade unions, civil society organization and faith-based organizations and all the international organizations because the issue is highly high and alone we cannot achieve to bring any change. So it is very much important that we join together with other organizations, those who are working for our people and raise our issues. It's not only on the state and national level, even on the regional level, we need to network to achieve the rights of the migrants and domestic workers since we feel the migrant and domestic workers issues are global issues. Not only our own issues, the issues, we see same problems the migrants and domestic workers are facing worldwide. So it is very much needed that we build a network with state level, national level and international level. Uh, uh, national Domestic Workers Movement is very grateful to WSM and their international cooperation. Through your support, we could achieve in India a lot of things for the domestic workers. Especially in different states, we could lobby for the domestic workers policies like bringing welfare board and minimum wage for the domestic workers and we are also very happy the study that we have carried out together as a partners and with the support of WSM so through that study also we could you know do a lobby work with the government to influence the government to come up with a uh, social protection for the domestic workers uh, and we are on the way to continuous uh, lobbying with the government with the support of WSM that one day believing we will achieve the demands of the workers. Uh, we are connected with each other uh, basically through mails, uh, through whatsapps and through we connect and through the synergy that have we have built up as a uh, as in Indian partners and we are also connected that uh, by inviting us to participate in different conferences, uh, workshops in different places, we feel the connectedness together and always we feel more than that our connectedness remains with this person to person mm -hmm. always. We share our good practices, how we are rescuing the migrants you know, with other partners as a WSM partners together and we also learn from them with others how they are doing organizing uh, that brings uh, this is the platform I felt that you know we give and take you know not only we you know both so I find it's this connectedness brings more meaning to us to know one another to learn from each other